so this is the second part in our root snap root analysis software series. If you didn't watch the first part, please go back and watch that where I show you how to set up your project and import your pictures correctly um, to make sure your pi pictures are all set up before you start tracing out your roots. Once you've imported your pictures from all of your sessions and tubes into the software, then we can start tracing out our root systems. Um, and in this series or this part of the series, I'm going to show you exactly how to um, add points and use all of the features in the software. So I highly recommend using a mouse um, with this software. It just makes um, it a lot easier to move around the picture and place your points. So I'm going to use my cursor and I can just drag the picture anywhere in this um, project window that I want. And then I'm going to use the scroll on my mouse to zoom into the part of the picture um, that I want to see. So I'm actually going to scroll in here as an uh, example and we'll start tracing out some roots. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click this add edit points tool. Um, if you click on it, it's going to select that tool. But if you click again, once you've selected, it brings up some more options um, for you for that tool. So the range option just gives you different options for the diameter of the point that's going to stick on the root. Um, I always choose the smallest diameter to begin with so I can see um, how it fits on the root and then you can always adjust after. So I'm going to click the smallest one here. Um, you can also manually edit that diameter number down here in this box. This snap to root function um, allows you to, when you're tracing a root, the software will automatically snap those points into the center of the root. It makes it easier so that the user doesn't have to go back and individually drag all of their points back onto the root. This multi-branch growth um, feature, make sure you have it clicked if you're wanting to be able to connect branches to your main root system. So like I said, this allows you to draw um, branches that come out of your main root and then connect those points together. So I'm going to have both of these selected before I start. So to, so to start drawing roots, you're just going to click and hold at one end of the root and start dragging down the length of your root. So as you can see, I should have zoomed in a little bit more here so I can get a better um, accuracy where I'm placing those points. But I'm just going to delete this right now. So once you've um, drawn your first line, that's when you can zoom in um, and actually see the points on the root. So as you can see, there's two different points that get set on top of the root. The smaller one in the middle is the pin on the root, and this larger one is actually showing you um, the diameter of your actual root. And so if you click on these individually, you can move them around and make sure they're um, correctly spaced on the root. And then using the um, scroll on your mouse, you can adjust the actual diameter size of the points. So you can do this for each point individually, um, move these around, make sure they're on the correct parts of the root, and adjust the sizes manually. Or you can click this view option up here, click panels, and click point details panel, and you'll have this little pop-up on the right side of your screen over here. So with the, what this does is it gives you a little bit more information about all of the points that are on your um, root so far. So right now it's giving me the diameter of all of my um, all of my points. So instead of manually changing, uh, instead of manually clicking on each point to change, you have the option to um, have the software estimate, which it's already doing. Or you can have it, um, you can select a standard size and change multiple points at a time. Or you can select singular points 
and change them here. Or if you click shift and hold down, you can select as many points as you want um, and change them all at once. So I'm just going to continue drawing out some roots to show you guys. I'm going to make sure I'm zooming in to get a really good close look. And I'm going to keep tracing out these root systems. So as you can see, these two lines are on the same root and they're actually need to be connected. So I'm going to zoom in um, and connect my two lines to create a singular root. So I'm going to select one of the points, click and drag it onto the other point. And as you can see, it's going to combine those two lines for me. If I wanted to create some branch branches for my roots and snap them, I'm going to just draw out those root systems here. And then I'll show you how to connect all of those to your parent root system. Like I said, you can always change the diameter of the points that are being put down, um, and that will change as you zoom in and out of the image as well. So I'm going to zoom in here, and exactly like I showed you before, um, I'm going to click my point, drag it over top the other one, and that's going to connect those roots together. If I need to add another point, I can do that by just clicking on the line and it will add me, it'll add another point for me um, that I can use to connect or use to adjust the size and shape of my root. So I'm gonna make sure all of these are connected. And zoom out. And we can see that that is now all the same color, indicating that it's all connected and a single root. I'm going to go back up here to my view and click open my root, um, my root details panel. And as you can see, there's another pop up on the right here. I'm going to close my point details panel for now. If you're drawing out roots and you need to delete a point, there's two ways you can do that. You can either right click on your mouse and you'll see this red circle come up. Everything that you trace over will be deleted. Or you can click this remove points tool at the top um, and same thing, go over, right over your roots. You can also change the diameter of the uh, remove points tool here or specify an exact diameter. I'm gonna quickly draw out some more roots to show you some more of the tools here. Again, this is not gonna be accurate. This is just for demonstration purposes and to show you guys some of the features um, of this software. So with this remove points tool, there's a few other options once you've selected the tool. Um, this split roots tool here, if this is selected, it's going to split those roots in half for you. So as you can see, I've put it in the middle and now it's split my line into two different roots. Um, so if you need to change um, the angle, change the shape, diameter of the points, you can do that by um, disconnecting, disconnecting that line. You can also choose to remove the root altogether. So instead of having to click each individual point, if you move over one of those points, it's going to delete that whole root. Or you can choose to remove all of the roots that are traced out on the image so far. You can also choose to lock your points. So this is really helpful for users that are tracing out a ton of roots like this image does have a lot of roots on this page. Um, you know, you don't want to accidentally delete certain lines that you've already spent a lot of time changing the diameter points. So I'll show you how you can lock those points in. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can better see those points. I'm going to select the lock points tool 
and this blue circle will show up. Every point that I drag it over, a little lock is going to pop up in the middle of that point. That means it is locked. It cannot be moved or deleted. So if I was to run my remove points tool over it, I cannot delete those. I can delete the ones that do not have the lock point on them. To unlock them, click again, drag over them again to unlock them. Again, once you have this tool selected, you can click it again and get some more options. Um, diameter of the tool that you're using. You can also choose to lock the entire root, lock all of them or unlock all of them. Some other features we have are that you can manually choose the color of your roots. So instead of it automatically um, giving you a root color, you can select that root system um, and we'll, let's change it to blue or green. Um, and you can change all of those, the color of those roots if want, if you want. We also have this manually uh, measure manually tool here. So when this is selected, um, it's going to bring up a little tape measure. Um, and so you can manually start to see the length of a root um, or the diameter of a certain root, um, you know, how long some of your branches are from your main root, et cetera. So over here on the right, this um, root details panel that that um, we added, this is going to show you all of the, the statistics for the roots that you have traced out. So up here, it's going to show you all of the roots that are traced out and the corresponding number that they were drawn in um, and also that the color that they are so you can easily find them. Depending on which root is selected, you're going to get all the statistics for that specific root. You can also set the status of your root system. So if there's a part of the root that's dead or alive or it's a new root that popped up, um, you can adjust those parameters here. Um, we'll keep this as alive right now. But as you can see, you can see the length area, volume, the average diameter, um, the average root angle. There's zero degrees for the branching angle right now because I have no um, branches coming off of this parent root. But if I were to add a um, angle or a branch and connect that, um, it will show up under that new um, branch that we selected. So when you start drawing branch, branches on your parent roots, it's going to show up in um, sequential order. So it'll show the parent root as your main number root, and then every subsequent branch off that will be um, just a decimal after that. So you'll know exactly which branches correspond to which parent root. So when you click that, that's when you can see the branching angle of that specific branch off your root system. So that's how that's... So now I've showed you all of the main tools that So I also want to show you this auto detect feature. This auto detect feature, um, we're still improving it, but it works really well for roots that have a very high contrast with the soil. So I'm going to zoom in down here and show you how this works. So with auto detect, I'm going to start adding points at one end of my root. Once I have a few points, I'm going to click auto detect and it's gonna trace out what it thinks is more of that root system. And then I can always adjust these um, or add more points if needed. Like I said, this is best for um, roots that have a very high contrast between the soil. After you're done drawing out all of your roots in your first image, then you can just click over to your second image um, using these window boxes down here and continue to trace out your root systems. Remember to periodically save your project 
during your tracing to make sure um, you know you don't get any data loss. So that was how to trace out and use most of the features of this software. We're going to move on to our third part of the series where we show um, a case study of a time series and how to look at root growth and dieback over time, um, as well as how to get the data output and open that on your computer. Thank you, everyone, and check out our next part in our root snap root analysis software series. Thank you.